Okay, in the last episode we built out to Headbolt Lane, but I've already had to redesign this and build further on to Liverpool. Welcome back to NIMBY Rails. Yes, hello boys, girls, and all of them to me, my name is Michaela, and welcome back to NIMBY Rails. So, as you'll be, uh, be aware, last episode we built Headbolt Lane. I have redesigned this slightly, so what we now have is, and I will do the platforms later, but so there's two platforms here, and then the third one down here. So, this will be our terminating Mersey Rail services. The Northerns will terminate in this platform and go into the siding, and then the other Mersey Rails will go through. So, what we're going to be doing today is piping in the services, and what we're going to, uh, to do that, we're going to start with the Northern one. And then we'll do the Mersey Rail. No, I'll tell you what, we'll start with the Mersey Rail one just to be different. I've done um, and built, I've gone and built pretty much the entire central part of the Mersey Rail network in terms of Liverpool. Um, so obviously the track we're going to be using, which goes through Moorfields into Liverpool Central. I've added a centre siding here. We then also have the Liverpool Lime Street and that the Rural Line Loop, so via Moorfields and that uh, there. With Liverpool James Street, I've also built in three platforms rather than two, so the old platform is still in use in our save, and we have this track here. Just to allow us to have any trains going maybe via Liverpool Central and James Street and then down. I was thinking maybe like a South Parkway to Chester service or something in the future. But what we're going to be doing first is piping in our new services. So, we're going to be using Kirkdale Depot here. And I've not built the reversing track, that's what I'm meant to do. Um, if there's any drilling in the background, please forgive me. Well, I say me, it's not even me. Uh, there is someone who's been working on the roof for about a, a year now, it feels like. Um, but yeah, so... We are currently having that done as well, so any drilling in the background is just that, so don't panic. Let's have a reversing track here, just so. Um, pick parent there, that's the wrong track as well. Just quickly change that to this, there we go. And pick parent, put there, flip again. Now, technically, most of our track is third rail, and I could change the track to that. If we go into here, there is a third rail option which is here. Um, maybe we should be doing that. Can I do that with all this, or would it not let me change it now? Just have a look. If I do that, does it let me do that? No. Okay, well, being as we built it all without it, let's not bother. Um, maybe I'll change it later, because it's not too difficult to do. All I have to do is just, um, I'll, sh I'll show you. Basically, I'd have to just change, like, promote and demote. So promote it to a platform and demote it again, and then I can work with that. So let's go from there to here, and then into that. This then needs to really, I don't know, maybe not actually. And then this and this speed will be, um, oh, no, it's not selected both for some reason. There we go. Uh, custom max speed, 30 as well. There we go. And then that is just 118 in length. Let's just remove the constraint on that and just bring that out to about 135. That should be fine. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is shrink that down. Um, Kirkdale Depot reversing line. And icon only. There we go. And build blueprints. There we go. And then I'll just put the signal in on that as well. Like that. Perfect. And then I actually, no, hang on. And then I need to put in the junction from there into this. So actually, that needs to change. Delete objects. Uh, no, delete that object, delete. What to do is if you demote this and promote it again, so that and then promote again, there we go. Just have to retype it in, but it's fine, so Kirkdale Depot reversing line, icon only, like that, done. And apply, 30 mile an hour, and then bring that back to, so remove constraint, Just bring that back to say here-ish, I'd say. Basically, so we can have it come into, no, not come, go out of here, and then sort of come into that bit there. That should be possible. It looks not too bad. If I can bring that back, maybe. And bring this back a bit more. There we go, like that. Perfect. And then put a signal there. And that then needs this track here, going across to there. Let's bring this across, apply 30 mile an hour to that. Build all blueprints, there we go. Now we could have brought them into Kirkdale like, and have them reverse out of that, but I think it's better to just bring them into this siding there. Brilliant. So, lines, um, we're going to create a new depot line. So this is Mersey Rail. So what we're going to do for Mer So in real life, I think Mersey Rail is M, M as well or something, but we're going to do MR. I think, oh, it is MR actually, yeah. 
And I need a Mersey Rail yellow, and I don't know if it's any different to the Metrolink one. So bear with me, National Rail colours. Recently found out you can go on the wiki page, and you can just, I think I said this, you can like copy them, which is really cool. So let me just have a look. Where's Mersey Rail? Uh, where is it? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Metrolink, Mersey Rail, there we go. Um, cool. I hope it's different. Let's see, FF200, what do we have for this? Let's just click paste for a second. Oh, it's slightly different, yeah, that's fine. So paste that, and then just copy that, and paste. Cool, there we go. Slightly different, but not quite perfect, so let's just copy that, because this is for the depot anyway, so I don't know why I did that. Um, 1D for depot, and that would just be Kirkdale, which we're going to be KRD, um, 2 uh, Liverpool Central. Technical maneuvers, loop, black hole, wait, uh, wait on platforms. So, back up we go. I don't know why it's brought me over here because I clicked on the Mersey Rail line. Um, right, so what we'll do for this service, we'll use these four over here, shall we? So, do that. Um, secondary platform signal, which will be that officially. And then just secondary platforms. And then I'm hoping I only need four. I don't know for sure. We'll find out in a bit. I'll put four for now. I think that should be right. But if we need more trains, we'll just add more. Add stops to line, so then it's going to go into here, like that, and then it's going to go down to Liverpool Central, um, but we're not going to stop in the station first, we're going to go to there maybe, or do we go into the station? We'll go into, um, let's have a look, if we go into there, 2E, like that, there we go, cool, and then it should just then what we need to do then, sorry, is put in... In fact, if we just move that... If we do this this way round, because I always build these with the depot first, but if I just do it that way round, then it should work, and I don't need to change the stops either. All being... All with my brain is right. Although, for some reason, it can't quite find itself a way to that line. It's going through here. Let's just look, K, click on that. So you can reach that signal there, which then puts you onto that track. But for some reason I just want to find it. What if I just do this instead? How do I figure that out? What if I just delete the whole thing and start again? Right, so delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that. Let's start this again. So basic mode. Um, so we'll, do, we'll put it both ways anyway because you do need it to be. So that's fine. So pick reversing. Pick secondary signal. And then pick platform even. Boom. Oops. Uh, like that. Add stops to line. I guess we could just put it into there, couldn't we? Because we could have a track here. What if we just do that? Okay, now that might be easier, eh? Oh, it comes off here, look, there you go. You can see it. In real life, it does this. It's like a track that goes like that. We just have this come all the way down here, maybe. Like this. Like this. So we won't even stop any... We won't have, like, anything. We won't have a depot line or anything there. It will just be through here. Like that. And then just put a signal on each end of it. I think that should work. And build our blueprints. And maybe that will work. So that we could just ignore the reversing line for a second. Let's just pull it into here. Okay, that's a good start. And then all the way down to the pull central to stop uh, platform 2. And then back up this way. Uh, yeah, it looks right so far. Good. Back up to, I guess we'll just stop here this time. And then back into there. That should work, right? Okay. So, do that. Liverpool Central, um, if it needs to. Um, I think what we'll have to do is... I'll tell you what, actually. No, instead of going to Liverpool Central. No. Yeah, we will go into the reversing siding with it. Because then we can pick the platform we want to come out on. One or two. Because we can go pick. Uh, not pick. So we can then say pull into one, usually. But if you have to, um, pick this. And then it can then go into two instead if it needs. Like that. There we go. Cool. And then that's just the depot run back. Um, that should be fine. So we'll do that. And then the next thing we need to do is create a new line. So let me just copy that color again. So that we have the right one. Create new line. M M1. M M M R1. Liverpool Central to Wigan Woolgate. 
and that will be, I think, LVC, right? So LVC to WDW. This will later probably extend to, um, to like, um, in the other direction. Like I said, Liverpool will probably start like um, the thing above, Hunts Cross. So it's leveled passenger service, cool. And then let's add the stops in on this. So starting there again, pick secondary platform signal. Now this time I'm going to go. Ah, yeah, that's a point. I need a crossover here because if they're going to start on one, then it's going to need to. Oh no, that should be right actually. Yeah, that's fine. So lines, pick secondary platform signal there, and the secondary platform is there because it will go to the centre siding on the on the end of the service. You see. More fields, I've not done that as directional, those platforms, but that's fine. Um, going up here, we have uh, Sand Hills, and then Kirkdale, we're going to go into platform 2. Ignore the reversing siding, I might just get, I'll just get rid of that in a minute, the centre siding. Um, Rice Lane, Fazakali, Kirby, or Kirkby, and then this will be the one we're going to go through to Wigan, so platform 3 there. And then with the Mersey rails, what they're going to do, because these platforms at these stations are a lot smaller, like Rainford and that. So Rainford, we are not going to serve. Um, let's have a look. Up Holland, we're not going to serve. And Oral, we're not going to serve. So they'll go a bit more express down here. I think we'll serve Pemberton, because we're getting close to Wigan at that point. And then Wigan Wallgate, we'll use platform 3. And then heading back, let's just do that. So Pemberton... I, I could expend the platforms at those, platform, uh, those stations if... When we put the Northern in, it can't cope with those stations on its own. We'll just expand the platforms, extend the platform, sorry, and then um, run the Mersey rails there as well. Keep going. Don't mind me, I'm just getting the thing wrong. So this is the interesting bit, is going to be trying to get this to work, because I want to have one train an hour terminate at Hunts Cross, uh, Hunts Cross, I've got that in mind now, at Headbolt Lane. And then the rest will, so there'll be four trains an hour, obviously, and the rest will go through to Wigan. So with that in mind, let's do that. Go back to here. We just have to remember that. So let's go trains. Purchase pre-configured. Scroll all the way down till we find the triple seven, which is down here somewhere. It's there, class triple seven. Is that the only one I've got? Or do I have another one? Am I stupid? Hang on. Seven five five seven nine nine. No. Shame this pack doesn't have the, have it on it. Is there any up here? Scroll down and just make sure. Um, that is the only one. Yeah, it's the only one we got. That's fine though. So triple seven. Now the dash ones are the battery ones, aren't they? Class. Oh, I'm just going on to the Wikipedia page. What are we on to time-wise? Yeah, 14 minutes. Not doing too bad. Um, class triple seven. Okay, I'll try that. It didn't work. There we go. Um. So at the moment, in real life, there is seven dash ones. That might be enough that we need, to be fair. So we'll go seven, triple seven, one forty. One forty, perfect. Brilliant, there we go. Purchase new trains, and then orders. Um, pen new order. Pick the line we want, so that line. Leave that as it is. There, and then it'll be 06, no, 0500 off there. Loop the next order. Then go to lines. First, I need to name this, name this to depot run. And then this one, I need to also just go default timings. Line duration custom. One hour. Is that possible? It is possible. Make it wait a Wigan. How long is it going to wait there for? Um, manually picked stops. Custom wait duration. Three minutes. That's not too bad. I think that works. Um, no, that's fine because it's just going to sit there. Um, so we either have that, or we can have it pull off into the siding we used for the northern. We have obviously we have platform two, siding two. We could add that in, and then maybe we'll do that. So go up to here, back into platform three, which we have to now do advanced mode, and then do that. There we go. It's fine. And then instead of waiting there, custom weight duration there, and we'll have it do. An hour and a half. No, because that'd be annoying actually. No, delete that. Delete that. There we go. Cool. That's fine. Yeah, so it can wait a Wigan for three minutes. That's not too bad a turnaround. Not a lot of time, mind, but I'm afraid that's what it's going to have to be. There's no way of really doing it. Um, 
cool right and then that's all sorted so then trains so this will take an hour each one so then we're gonna have this be so basics let's clone the train triple seven one four two and uh, cool purchase new trains uh, orders let me just finish this one actually so that's Monday to Saturday Sunday will be seven o'clock we'll let's just delete this order off there and we can just do it in a minute depending new order not loop till next order um, depot run which is there now it'll be 20 358 according to this just do seven days a week same time 23.50 let's get midnight brilliant and that will start from there and make its way up to um, not Kirkdale to last line stop no to Kirkdale depot that should work it should figure that out I think append good yep that's correct fantastic in fact that's wrong isn't it or is that right yeah because it will sit in Kirkdale depot then so what we'll do, let's just test that by running this train now and just see that it works. So we'll go to we'll go to train. That's fine. Let's go to the evening, like overnight. Bear with me one second, folks. Okay, yeah, so that has gone to the depot. Fantastic. So what we'll do then, trains. Paste. Should have probably copied the other one first, but it's fine. Paste. There we go. Then we can oh, close that. Close that. And Sunday. Copy. Paste. And then what we're going to do is add 15 minutes onto each one. Well, I have had just four, which I will just... What I'll do, leave these on 15. Um, the other one will be 30, actually. Because of one key thing also this is going to be 23.30 then that one what is this here okay I don't know why it's doing that though That's, it seems to think that it has to make a, another run but that's fine and then on this midnight 15 will actually be 23.15. Brilliant. Because I want midnight to be the last train. For now, we might increase it, but on this line alone, I think that's fine. Basics. Clone that again. You'll be triple seven one four five. Just I'm just trying to do s not like some uh, specifically numerical order. Orders. And then 45. And the reason I made that one 30, the original one, uh, is because obviously the one I want running just head bolt lane will be the one on, on the hour we'll just terminate a head bolt lane so do that now instead of having to put in another service I think what we're going to do instead is go onto lines um, new line service obviously let's just change the color on this as well to something a bit lighter we'll go for something a bit different to the that's actually what I do because Mosier is half grey let's make the Go for like a nice grey tone. That'll do, I guess. Oh, no. That's fine. What are you doing? There. There, that'll do. It's not perfect, but it will do. Right. And then what we're going to do is the, the service one will just be everything. So Pemberton, Wigan, Walgate, Pemberton. Oh, no, because it needs to use a platform, doesn't it? I mean, actually, we could still make it work, to be fair. So what I can do is go to this. Go on to headbolt lane this way and add another stop in, which will be here, right? Now, it'll look weird on there, but then what we can do is... Oh, no, because then... No, that's not going to work. Never mind. All right, we do have to make another service. That's fine. What we'll do then, um, let's delete that. Delete line. We'll do clone selected line, and this will be A. Or just MR. Yeah, 1A, Liverpool Central, 2, headbolt lane nope lane cool and then that would be just i don't know what the code is for headbot lane we're going for hbl if you want to correct me that's absolutely fine passenger service and what we can then do is just 
go to headbolt lane basically and just delete all of these and from Kirby we're going into headbolt lane platform 1 and then default timings custom manually pick stops go on to headbolt lane custom weight duration trains will then buy another one so what I'll do is basics clone again this will be triple seven zero two one because um, I think in real life headbot lane isn't preferred railed but we'll have it that it is in this in this world again I'll update the tracks later call purchase trains and then orders for this one will be um, 600 no 500 sorry Monday to Saturday and that's MR1A maybe on Sunday we should have a half hourly service actually that's an idea so what if we do so Sunday 7.30 also will be an MR1A run instead of change and then this one MR1A change um, Sunday 700 MR1A change brilliant there we go that should work so let's just run that and see what happens so we go to tomorrow and just see how that run is along. Right, so they're all running. That's great. They're all running somewhat okay. Although this one appears to be... Is one of these delayed? What, how late are you? You're running on time. You're running on time. Did I do that wrong? Hang on. Trains. 15, 45, 30... Oh, what's this here? Oh, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, and then this should be at um, midnight as well. Didn't change that, did I? Change. So why is that seemingly... Hmm. These are like like following each other, but they shouldn't be. They should be like 15 minutes apart. Now I'm just confused. Have a look. Let's just see what's going on here. Where is that other train? There was two following each other. Did they? Oh. Did I go mad? I might have gone, been going mad. It's fine. Cool. Oh no, they are heading it. These two are following each other. I mean, they don't delay each other too much, I guess. Just follow this head. Where's the headbolt lane one? There it is. Let's just see what that does. Hang on. Okay. I mean, it's not too bad. It does seem to catch up with this one. But that's running on time. And that's running early, in fact. Maybe it's got too long then. Maybe that line needs to be padded out more then. So lines, let's have a look. Headbolt lane. We went there for 15 minutes, but it's still got a lot of... It's running early. Hmm, that's weird. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, so... Where are you going now? Oh wait, it's getting confused about headbolt lane, looks like. Hang on. Did I mess something up with headbolt lane then? Let's have a look. Uh, I don't seem so. Am I going mad? I feel like I'm missing something here. Let me just have a look at that line. So it's... Is it, do you have to click on the stop you're trying to reach? Yeah, you do. Okay, so it's going up this way. And then round there. Right, okay. So what was going wrong before then? Oh, ah. This is the wrong Kirby. That's why it's going both Kirby's and then it's going to Headbolt Lane. There. Right. Very good. I don't know if anyone spotted that. But there you go. Cool. And it'll wait there for half an hour at Headbolt Lane, but that should be fine. So just return and then it should be all back to normal now. Is that right? Yeah, cool. Right, so that's the Mersey Rails piped in. Let's just see how the passenger numbers are looking at Liverpool Central. That's what we're going to judge it off. Yes, yeah, so they're all doing fine. There's no concerns about numbers. Brilliant. That's fine. Right, so then let's put the Northern service in. Now, it's going to be Tedbot Lane. Where does the real life one go from? Is it? Oh, I don't know, actually. That is a good question. Real time trains, and we'll just let me have a look. We're up to on the recording time. Okay, we're up to 26 minutes, so we might run just slightly over the uh, time, but it's fine. It was HBL, headbolt lane, that's good. 
The Northerns come from Blackburn. Okay, well, what we'll do for now then, they'll run from Victoria. Uh, because obviously we haven't built uh, Blackburn yet. We will have to work on that next, I think. Something up that way, because we've not done anything down that way. So let's just have a look at our lines. We've got... Yeah, the two services are just doing that. So we'll just have this one be five, so... Let's have a look. Northern 10. Oh, this one's got a warning on, apparently. Custom fitter duration mode needs at least one stop with some... Wait till after the fixed stop. Southport. Oh, I see. So what if we just say... I don't think it's like it won't run. I think it's just concerned. So we just do that. There we go. I think mean, that's just to make sure it doesn't mess up the duration or something. Anyway. So we've got the Northern 10 and the 10A. So just be the Northern 11. So let's copy the color again. Brilliant. And create new... Not depot line. Whoops. Delete that. Create new line. Delete line. There we go. Oh no. Delete line. Delete. Create new line. Brilliant. There we go. Paste. Northern 11. Cool. And that's Manchester Victoria to Head Bolt Lane. Which is MCV to HBL. And these are, what we're doing, 3 and 10, isn't it? Yeah, so £3 and 10 pence for each thing. Passenger service, and then let's go. So what we'll do, the real life one goes, is it via, I think it's via Walkden and that, right? And does it stop everywhere? Because we could replace the all stopping one. Yes. Now, what was the all stopping service? That's a question. Because Earlham's are the height, Swinton. Let's have a look. So I'm just checking now. This is MCB to SPT. So that's 10, right? And then this one has both, right? 10A, was it? Ah, there you go. So 10A doesn't stop at Earlham's of the Heights. So this one, technically... Oh, that's going to Southport, though. That's fine. Okay. Well, it means that these stations will get more service. Or, yeah. Or we could just... Hmm, that's interesting. I don't think that was meant to go to Southport, that one. What does that... What do these stations usually get? Let me have a look. Um, Swinton, Manchester usually gets... Yeah, Black, it gets Wigan Wallgate Terminators and Headbolt Lane. Okay, so that's fine. So we'll do that then. That works. Okie dokie. So, let me go by. When is um, that? So go to Lines. Go to 10. And then go to Timetable. So they're leaving at 46. So if we have these ones leave it... But then, uh, I presume 15 was the other trains? Yeah, okay, so it says 46, I presume it's 45. But so this will have to be about. How about we have it be um, 20? Yeah, that works. Okay. Stops. Cool. So where's 11 gone? There it is. So add stops. So we'll start on 5 for this one and pick secondary platform signal, which is down here. Good. No, it's not. That's the wrong one. Or oh, is it the wrong one? No, because they can go. Yeah, that's fine. We'll have it go down this track here. That's fine. Pick second platform for re. I don't know why it's three and five. I might renumber those. Anyway, um, Salford Central is. Oh, that's the point. Yeah, we want to stop at Salford Central on this. Nope. So what we'll do then? Um, pick the second platform signal as that. In fact, brilliant. And off, off we go. So adding stops. Salford Central. Salford Crescent. Going around here. We're going to stop at Earlham's Over Heights. Um, again, I'll do all the platform, like the physical platforms, if you know what I mean. I'll do those between this week and next week's episode. Uh, Walkden, down this way, cool. I still need to do the trains to terminate Atherton. I think I have a rough idea what I might do for those. Um, Hagfold, Daisy Hill, Hinley. Now, they don't stop at Ince in real life, the headbolt lane, so we won't do that. Skip to Wigan Wargate. And then follow this track down. Now I've got to hope that it doesn't get in the way of the Mersey Rail. So we'll run it. And if it does seem to be in the way, we'll just change the timetable. Time. So we'll make them leave earlier or later. I don't know what it will be. We need to work it out. Mind you, we could do the maths, but we won't bother. We'll just make it leave either five or ten minutes earlier or later. Okay, I think that should be it now. It should be Headbot Lane next. Yep. So Headbot Lane, platform two. And then into the siding to wait between services and then to for into free to leave back towards Manchester and then back this way we go so Rainford up Holland I think I'm pronouncing that right Oral Pemberton of course the Merseyrails do stop there Wigan Hallgate 
Um, not ints, whoops. Uh, study. There we go. Hinley. Um, Daisy Hill. Hagfold. Habiton. Um, there is actually a way to use the other Walton platform, so that could be interesting for one of these services, maybe, to do that. I forgot about the crossover points. Cool. More side. Swinton. Odom's over the height. Salford Crescent, which is platform 2, of course. Salford Central, again, platform 2, and then back to the beginning. Great, now that's going to be quite a long one. Um, now, I'm going to put it 2 hours, because I presume it won't. I'll actually, I'll leave it an hour for now and see what it says when we put a train on it. So, the real-life service, of course, uses um, 150s now, for the most part. There is a couple of 769s still running, but they will go to um, Southport. So, what we'll do, we'll do is 150s. Everyone's least favourite class of sprinter. 150-1. Uh, you can't put one of the two together, which is a shame. Unless, can you custom train? No, they've not added the feet. Oh, no, hang on. 150-2 there. And then there's no dash. Okay, there isn't a dash one. That's a name. A shame. Um, obviously, that means they have to add the mod into it. So we'll just do two dash ones for now. 150-101 and 110. No, 120, actually, just to be different. Pick a decal. We want Northern. That's there. I should change that, actually, to 105. So all the Dash 1s are with Northern now, I believe. It's the Dash 2s that are in other operators, so we'd know we're definitely doing the right thing. Just purchase new trains. Do we already have Dash 1s? Uh, why has it done that? It's weird that it does that. It sometimes defaults to copying the line. I think let's go by class of train for a second. So by model... We have one, this is our first dash one set. Okay, cool. By line. Um, append new order. So it's going to be um, 11. That's fine. Part exactly at 0620. Right it to Saturday. Uh, that's not right because I need to do loop, loop until next order. And it's actually Monday to Friday. Change. Um, now, let's quickly go to lines for a second. This is 10. And that'll be fine actually for now. We'll do a depot run. So let's just clone that line for a second. Where's Newton Heath TMD? Let's have these use. So pick main platform. 21 there. Pick secondary platforms. 2, 3, 4. Probably don't need to use all of those, but it's fine. We could also send it over here maybe. Maybe that'd be a better idea actually. Hang on. Lines. Pick. Uh, main. No, not that. Delete all these for a second. Pick the main platform as there, 17, and secondary for 20. I don't know if we're going to need two trains, but just in case. I think if we're doing this an hourly service, we should be alright with that. And that'll be 11. Brilliant. Trains, so perfect. And then, not loop until next order. 11 from Manchester to Newton Heath at, yeah, so it's not coping with an hourly frequency, so where is it? This one. Two hours. And um, what we'll do is um, custom manually pick stops, and it's not Wigan Walgate. Uh, where is it? Head bowl lane, um, but the centre siding. Wait there, 21:35. Don't disembark there. No, don't board there even. Sorry. Don't board or disembark at this station, and don't disembark there. Not that you could, because there'd be no one on board. But yeah. And what we'll do, this one will have it be a custom time of two minutes at the start. So two minutes on the way out. Just so that it has time to pick up passengers. And then we'll have to see if it does hold up any trains. So it's, it'll be at 6.33. No, the first one, for example, will be 7.33 off Headbolt Lane. So let's just have a quick check to see when the departures are off here. We are now 38. So it's, yeah, 42. So 33 is fine. Perfect. So they shouldn't get in each other's way, I hope. Let's just pray and hope for the best. Uh, mind duration. Custom duration, two hours, apply. Cool. Don't know what I just picked then. Fit to period. Custom duration, two hours. Cool. Right. And then trains there. So then the last one of these will be 2220 for the depot run. Um, chain. Not chain. Oh, no. Loop. Um, 0620 even. Change. Then not then append new order, not loop to next order. Eleven depot run from Manchester to Newton Heath. At twenty two twenty. Append. 
Okay, so that's not working, so just edit order. Let's just make it 22, 25, change. Cool. And then can we make that any earlier? 20 and tw 8 seconds. Okay, so 22, 21 then. Cool. And then what we'll do is copy that and paste it. And then on a Saturday, it will just be 720 as the first one. So this train will do a slightly different thing on Saturdays. 23, tw no. 21, 21, yeah, because of. Oh, nope. 22, 21 on Fridays. And then copy paste. Saturday, it will do 23, 21. Change. There, perfect. And then. Oh, no, 21, 21, sorry. Change. Cool, perfect. And then. Um, we'll have it hourly on Sunday too, so copy and paste. Sunday, it will be the 820 off this one. In fact, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's scrap this one, delete that. This can be Saturday and Sunday change. This can be Saturday and Sunday 22, 21. In fact, no, that can be Sunday. Change that to 20, 21. And this can then include Saturday. There we go, perfect, right. Cool. So that should fill out everything pretty well. I don't know why there it's saying it wants to make a path to Victoria 5E because it should be coming into there, but maybe I've done the thing wrong. Hang on. What's this run to? 3W, that's why. So that should run technically to not add stops. Um, pick main platform 5E. I think I was meant to use E, but that's fine. And take that off. Pick there. 3E. Cool. Trains. Is that better? I think it would then be better. Let's have a look. Um, change. Change. That's weird. It's not adjusting that. It's just saying start path 2 and it's not happy about it. Mine's 11D depot. I did do 11D on that, didn't I? Oh well. It's fine. Um, from 5E. Oh, never mind. No, I'm, I'm not with it. Ignore me. Um... Did I do that wrong then? What have we got for these ones? So like this one, for example, is... That's fine. Right, cool. Okie dokie, where's that train gone? Um, 11 depot run, there we go, cool. And then basics, clone the train. And then this one can be 150, 131, and 150, 109. Just, again, random two numbers. Uh, nope. Cool. Purchase new trains. Let me just quickly change that to 150, 120, because that's wrong. Boom, boom. Let's just see what I'm up to on the time on the recording. Okay. I know it's quite a long one, guys. I'll make up for it next week by not doing it as long, but that's fine. I'm not going to cut anything out or do any time lapses this week, so it's fine. So then 21, 21. Oh, should we do 23, 21 on a weekday? Yeah, let's do that. Go on. Go later than that on a weekday. And then on Saturday, what we'll do is change that to that, sorry. Copy and paste. Have it on Saturday only be 21, 21. Whether or not that makes sense, I don't know, but um, 9, 20. And then 21, 21. Yeah, that works. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, cool. In that case, we can actually delete that, and this again can be Saturday and Sunday instead. Then, like we nearly did for the last one. Brilliant. Okay, so now if we get that running, we should hopefully see a pretty decent service, and hopefully nothing getting in the way. That's what's most important. Let's just have a look at that. Just that nothing blocks anything up. No, that definitely looks like it's not the case. Fan dabby dozy. Great. Nothing is getting too close to each other, um, and yeah, I think that's basically us done, which is good. Right, well, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do leave a like and subscribe. Leave any comments down below, any feedback. Um, in the next episode, I think what we're going to do is build something up this way, because we've obviously done a lot of south work. We've done towards Liverpool now. I think we're going to do either the line to Liverpool via Warrington, potentially, or we'll go up this way for a bit. Uh, but as I said, so this is the northwest save, so anything within the region of the northwest, or maybe one station out, like, for example, um, Stoke-on-Trent, um, we'll be putting in like a terminus point. This one actually will be going as far as staff with this line uh, on this save. And then what we'll do once we've done Northwest, we'll then move to the next region and so on. But yeah, um, and it will be one big save in the end. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I've been Lucy Michaela, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye for now.